Thank you. Jenny. Also, to ask the Scottish Government how much has been invested in the Trunk Road network in the Greenock and Inverclyde constituency since Amy took over management of the network. Minister uh, Transport Scotland uh, records uh, trunk road maintenance and spend through the operating company's contracts on a whole route basis. Therefore, figures cannot be disaggregated for ex exact spend between specific locations. Notwithstanding this, since the start of the Amy South West contract in August 2020 and up to the latest report to the end of September 2023, this Government has invested £25.9 million in the maintenance of the A78 and £77.6 million on the A8 trunk roads through Amy's contract. These figures cover all aspects of maintenance, including resurfacing work, drainage improvements, road safety measures, maintenance of structures, incident management and winter treatments. Stuart Millen. Thank you. I thank the Minister for that reply. And since Amy took over the contract from Scotland Transfer in 2020, I think it's clear to see that there has been additional work taking place in the A8 and A78 in my constituency. Amy took over during the pandemic and inherited significant challenges. And I do want to thank Amy for the work they have done. But can the Minister assure my, my constituents that Amy will continue to invest in the Trunk Road Network in my constituency and that further improvements uh, to the road surface will take place in the next financial year, including at the Bolson train station? Minister. Um, I thank the member for recognising the maintenance efforts of the investment in the Inverclyde area. And I think, as he notes, especially during the challenges of the recent pandemic, obviously Transport Scotland work diligently with its operating companies to ensure trunk road maintenance and provide safe use and re uh, reliability um, for those that, that use that. I can reassure them in the year 24-25 financial year, investment will continue on the A78 and A8 trunk roads uh, with an anticipated programme of improvement works totalling £4.7 million and I will ask officials uh, to ensure that Mr McMillan is updated when the dates are set for certain uh, elements of that.